we can see a campaign somewhere here. One battle is fought, one decisive victory. And we'll continue in the North Africa, at least for the moment. We do want to play at the Eastern Europe too. It, it's quite a bit different. Mostly because uh, Russian troops are uh, a bit different and there's a lot more terrain. Cities, forests, rivers, plains, things like that. A delay. Uh, we have a lot less points to spend and delaying action is uh, we won't be getting mines or anything like that. Delaying action. Yeah, I do want amateur artillery is the best thing though. Anti tank guns. Hmm. There's gonna be very likely quite a bit of anti tank or uh, armored activity. Infantry of Black, maybe. AA guns. They're good against infantry too. You can harass tanks with tanks with them. Uh, so not a bad option at all. But again, I think it's going to be mostly. Mostly tanks that we'll be seeing. I'll take a couple of snipers as spotters. They only cost one point. Yeah. Let's see how well we'll do. Very similar map, a lot of hills. That marks the point where we can put our troops. Uh, visibility 28, so not great. We do want. Yeah, this hill is going to be very important in this fight because you can shoot almost everywhere from it. So you'll go there. If you have a command uh, leader unit quite close to your own units, it sort of gives them a little bit of boost. You also, they likely don't have that heavy artillery and aircraft presence here. Yeah, we can't see all that long, and there's uh, several areas here that we can't simply see at all. We'll probably have anti tank guns here. Yeah, it's not gonna be an amazing place to put your guns in. But I'm still gonna do it. Ah, five panzers. Let's put them here. One or two here, but not many. Mm. The infantry. She We'll put a little bit at least close to here. They can react, go into the tanks, and we can move them where we need to. 
cool, so we'll be putting some of them here. Maybe protecting these areas, although I, I, I don't know about that. Okay, we have a decent defense here. We have really nothing here. So. We'll put more anti-tank guns here, just in case they want to push through here. Uh, this place is between the AA guns and anti-tank guns, so not a great place to try to push through. Put one anti-tank gun. Let's put it. We have a few snipers. And a few soldiers, so... Stay close to these guys. We can react with them. Or we need happen to need the troops. I do want to put someone here. Keeping an eye on these guys. The same with here. Okay, let's see what happens. Yep. Quick deployment. Continue. Sartre. Grant. Bishops. Uh, 25 powder. That's a huge tank. Uh, I mean, that's a huge gun. I think this might be an ar artillery tank. I'll set range to something really low. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not too keen on revealing our position. What I mean by that is they have a lot of reactive fire, so I don't want they very easily to be destroyed. Anti tank guns to be the ones that react first and reveal their location. I want to go in with the tanks or something to draw fire. Okay, let them come. See what happens. Okay, we're again we're losing the AA guns. I should have put their range even low lower. 
Yeah, it's a lost gun. Every everything shooting at it. Yeah, I'll have to remove their ability to fire reactive fire in these situations altogether. Mm. Something else has to fire first. That's the that's the main thing. Tanks are a good option. They don't have to hit anything. They just have to take shots at the enemy. Although switching targets around is a very stupid thing to do because your accuracy increases the more you shoot at a single target. So it's better to keep shooting at a single target until you destroy it. Yeah, I'm not hitting anything. More tanks. They don't seem to be reacting much to anything. I'm guessing it's because they fired so much at last turn. They have nothing left. We are doing the same thing. We're trying to cause as many casualties as we can. Because we will be getting casualties every turn. So we don't want to keep this fight going any longer than we absolutely have to keep it going. A single shot fired in this direction and that gun is totally useless. Good. Seems all the enemies are coming from here. Next. Yeah. Yeah, that's guns basically useless again. Can we get a kill? Yeah. Ton of reactive fire. We can't do anything anymore. More grants. It's a ton of them. We'll lose uh, anti -tank, at least the anti-tank guns likely on the next turn. I was pretty sure that would ha happen too. I bought them also to give protection to our AA guns. And it was another learning experience, meaning don't let your guns react. I limit the range to something that they can't shoot, basically anything. Let the enemy come to you before the firing starts. Yeah, crap. Yeah, that's basically a useless unit. At the one return shot. That's not good. 
That's not good. We already lost one unit. You can see two targets moving fast. It's primary. Not moving anywhere. We need kills. They'll call, say, people around them to break out. Come on. Why do they last so long? Very durable tanks, if nothing else. Okay, that's pretty much all we can do at the moment. We will be moving these guys to confront them. There's no point having all of us be here. We do have a lot of anti-tank guns. Three and machine gun and a tank here. So it's not like we're abandoning this place. Yeah, use casualties on the AA guns now. This tank will likely be destroyed. Yeah. So will that. Most of our rally attempts failed, so we don't want to start the shooting with these. Grand, grand. Okay, let's start shooting. Near running away. Wonderful. Oh, we can't do anything about it. At least the crew survived on the tank. Yeah, not the so great tank destroyers. These guys have a accurate but a too small gun to counter effectively tanks anymore. And there are some kind of artillery tanks. There's not much we can do at this point. Okay, you see infantry yet. Yeah. We just have to start shooting and hope we'll survive. That's likely well how this is gonna go. We'll get one miss and they'll shoot and we are unable to fire back anymore because we're too Right in. Hmm. 
could have gone worse. We only have very few guns in operational condition. What kills? I'm, I, I don't really care about trying to wound as many units as possible. I need kills. Uh, we destroyed close to two platoons of these grants. There's still quite a few left. Pro probably a platoon of Daimlers and at least one grant. I would say four at least. Yep. A full platoon. So the fight is far from over. We're losing the AA guns. No, the AAT anti tank guns. I'm actually quite confident that we can keep most of the AA guns alive. The smoke that he uses protects them too. Okay, we might get a shot from this gun too. That's fantastic. Retreating grand, position grand. Not gonna waste ammunition on infantry. We are not in a bad place, not at all. A little bit of blind spot here, so we'll try to come around that. If they aren't gonna move forward, we're gonna flank them with those three tanks. It's gonna be very risky for the tanks. Yeah, AT guns won't survive this. They shouldn't be on the front line if you want to make them survive. I'm not too. Too. I don't care about that too much. Also, you might want to. Yeah, that's. Shit. You might want to. Have have them not fire until the enemy troops it comes in contact with your other forces. That way. They're gonna be busy with something, something other than your weak cannons. We definitely want that grand kill. Mobilize, not good enough. Just cruel it. Mm-hmm, what's that? Ah... Trying to sneak around, you sneaky bastard. 
Well, come on, come on. Come as close as you want. Okay, what's the distance? Uh, set range. What's the range on the gun? Very. I'm not gonna shoot at them at all at this point. Just gonna wait them to come a little bit closer. Only crew left. So not much we can do about the air, air airplane attacks. Even if you have a, a anti air, it's not like uh, modern day modern day missiles. It's very unreliable. You have to shoot quite a lot before you get hit, and the hits might not be enough to bring them down before they reach a target. So, in reality, we just have to endure them. There's nothing more you can do about them. If you have Great anti aircraft defenses, then you might shut down, uh, shut, shut, shoot down uh, the planes before they make their strikes. Hey, the bishops can bombard. That seems to be quite effective, and they do have mortar. There should be four tanks. That's usually the platoon size. They're quite close at this point. Can you see anything? Like that. How much is that distance? Yeah, this is a troublesome thing. What can you see? One, two, two. divers. Mm, let's give it a shot. I'm not hitting anything. It's a nasty bit of business. You won't be bothering them anymore. Timers aren't that dangerous to anyone, so... One hit kill. Can I kill the crew? No, I can't. No, I shouldn't. Yes, I could. Excellent. I have to wait for those Grant to show their faces. There's not much else we can do. Okay, let's just wait one more turn before starting our fight against these guys. Let's 
Sergeant Porsche. Okay. Yeah. Immediately focusing on the AT tank that shot. So this is what we want to avoid. Because those anti-tank guns do have to kill those grants. So someone else has to take the take the return farm. That was beautiful. Return fire that hit and destroyed the target. Yeah, not doing too too well with these. And suppression isn't really working. Okay, this is the troublesome area now. want them to shoot. Shoot as much as possible before you die. Yeah, it's pretty hopeless for them. Let's try to shoot. Ooh, crap. We lost our main gun. That's absolutely fantastic. What did you lose? He lost his main gun too. He has another gun though. So it's not that big of a loss for him and we only have 80 guns here. So the smaller gun is more than capable of destroying us. So this went relatively well. We wanted to, that return fire. Hit something. Mobilize. Oh, that's that's good enough for now. One has lost his main gun, other is immobilized. I'm gonna get something on the last third one. We should be in a much better position. Immobilized. Okay, how bad? He still is in a fire condition. Okay, he has the main gun, but he's taking so many hits, I think he'll bail out. No, he won't, because he's dead. Okay, it's not a clear victory over then, but one is immobilized, so he can't take anything. And one lacks his main weapon, one is destroyed. It's good enough. Okay, Grant, we have to take care of him. That was a great hit, he's dead. Well, we'll shoot the crew. It's possibility to get killed. Get the kill. It's important experience for you. And you have a decent chance of beating, so just hit. Thank you. Your third kill. Uh, 
uh, armor command rally. I wonder what this stats on our command unit are. Infantry and rally. Okay, we can fire on a bishop. Might as well try to shoot them. We do have a few. We have four men kill, a few high explosive ammo. Not many though, yeah, seven remaining. This is pretty much in the back at the moment. And we forgot to move our three assaulting tanks. Gonna take some casualties, but nothing heavy at this point. Yeah, all terrible at rallying. Okay, what happened to the grand? There it is. Shit. <laughs> That direct fire damage he does is quite impressive. Not much we can do about the grant at the moment. Just have to let him come a little bit closer. Yeah, he's still in a good position, and he still has uh, some good weapons. So it's not decided yet. Let's shoot him because we have better chances to hitting him. Only one remains. Yeah. So now it's uh we managed to stop them. Where do we want to go? Do we want to go here and dump the troops? Would be a good idea. Do mainly just want to drive them out. Don't care too much about fully finishing the enemy.
just trying to get a few hits in so he can't operate at full capacity. Okay, mm, let's see what happens on the next turn. Can shoot at the grand. Yeah, that anti tank gun isn't going to be firing on the tank. This part should be over very soon. Because they're already retreating. As soon as that Grand is out of the picture, I think that's pretty much it. That should be it. We'll try to push forward as much as we still can. Not expecting anything impressive from the enemy at this point. We'll start moving forward, shooting everything we can. Four men killed, yeah. That anti tank gun really screwed them over. Okay, what now? The lonely sniper is still here doing his job. Yeah. Let him escape. Infantry. Yes, we will be shooting it because that's the only thing we have left to shoot. This seems to be fairly effective against the infantry. Get up to four kills on a single shot. There's probably a few more infantry there. I suspect each grant was carrying an infantry unit. Again, a chance to get a kill. You get a kill if you finish up, destroy an enemy unit permanently. Getting a few men shots from a platoon or an enemy squad, rather, is uh, totally meaningless. Uh, 
I'll try to get the kills. We might not get many. Even a few kills matter. You want to get your troops to veteran if you can help it. Elite units are naturally what you really want, but you're going to be losing units on a fairly regular basis in this game. So keeping a unit in elite units is uh, quite another matter. The AA guns are very likely to get to elite at this part of the game, but they're also very likely to get killed. We should buy some kind of transportation truck for them. I didn't want one to be included in the main army, but a heavy truck shouldn't cause only a few points, so we could easily include it. I think this is the end, yeah. German 1316 and British 78. So uh, you have won a decisive victory and suffered only minor losses. Enemy forces have played and you control the battlefield. Congratulations. Crap. This means a counter attack by the enemy. 